morning to you. Good morning. Lighting is so weird. And there's a guy smoking the blood. Hi guys. Today I'm going on a college tour. I never say that word like that. Today I'm going on a college tour to Georgia State University. What I'm gonna do when we get there is basically live the life of a student and just get to experience stuff, eat lunch with them, tour the dorms. I'm really excited because we get to eat, <laughs> if I'm being dead serious. I'm sure it's gonna be a fun time. Anyway, I'll see you guys when I get there because right now we're kind of running late, but what's new? What's going on here? I don't know why people make it seem... A lot of people aren't. <laughs> I'm trying to get comfortable holding this up here. It's a lot more crazy stuff than that. Good point. I don't even know what to say. This is the first time I pulled this out all day. It's not the first time you've lost it. No, no, no. I've been doing this for like four years. And I still don't know what I'm doing really. This is I hope by the time you're done watching this video that if you plan on coming to Georgia State, you have at least an idea of basic things that you might want to know before you attend. Or if it's just really far from where you live, I hope this video helps explain because when I was looking for videos, I seen scraps. <laughs> like I didn't see many things that were helpful. So I really hope this video kind of puts things in perspective for you. That's it for the most part. I love how we're in the middle of Atlanta because whenever I search something, I live in Lawrenceville, right? And whenever I switch up things to do nearby, it takes me on a one hour journey to Atlanta and literally everything is here like the aquarium, the CNN center. It has a lot of historic backgrounds too, so there's a lot to do down here. I love how I'm talking about it like I'm the tour guide, but I'm just saying what they told me and what I've been um, researching on my own. I was lucky enough to know exactly what I wanted to do coming right out of high school, which was film and film production. So I toured a lot of different film schools around the Southeast, um, and I know there's so many great film schools across the country. When I got to Georgia State, I knew this was the spot for me. I just want to briefly add on, if you have the chance, definitely go visit the school, because if you're just looking online, every university is the number one school in the world. So definitely go visit, put yourself on that campus to see what exactly the campus really looks like and how you can get a feel of that campus. While we're on the topic of college, let's talk money. Money is actually one of the main reasons why a lot of people choose to not go to college, and I can see why, because college debt is ridiculous. There's a lot of ways you can get free money from the government. With that being said, I'm really happy to say that this video is brought to you by Moss. They're a company that helps you get as much financial aid as you possibly can. You sign up and you fill out one application, and Moss sends that application to every single financial aid that they possibly can and that you're eligible for, because if you're unaware, financial aid is really time consuming. It sucks the life out of you. Yeah, what she said. You get a financial aid advisor by signing up with Moss to ask them any questions that you have. There are two different kinds of memberships you can get with Moss. So you can either get the free one, which only comes with FAFSA, or you can get the one that's $149. This comes with FAFSA. And you can also get your advisor to negotiate with the financial aid people to get you as much aid as possible. And you don't have to pay for the membership until you actually get the financial aid money. People who choose this membership get on average of $15,000 per year in student aid. So it's a really, really good option. You might be like, okay, that's a lot of money that you're paying. If they don't give you financial aid money up to double the amount that you paid for the membership, they'll refund you your money. In all honesty, Moss is just really here to help high schoolers. I'm so happy that a company like this would reach out to me and want to work out with me. Or work out with me. Imagine just going to the gym together and be like, fresh new ex No. So I'll leave all their information linked down below. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. We're going on a little walking tour around to see the different areas in the school. We just got out of the panels. They talked a lot about the police assistant down here because we're in the city. And obviously with the city comes a lot of high crime rates and all that. How safe do you feel on campus? Great question. When I came to Georgia State, my parents were pretty concerned. The Christmas before I came to Georgia State, they gave me pepper spray, I got a taser. One of my friends like crafted me brass knuckles as if I was gonna like do that. Um, I've never used any of those things. I took my pepper spray off of my keys because I just decided it was safe enough. I didn't really need it anymore. Um, <laughs> they have five different police departments that work down here and function. And you can also have an app on your phone where you get the cops to come assist you, like walk with you to class if you feel unsafe. My camera is really overexposed. What are you doing, baby? We've been walking for about five minutes because we're really close to the dorms. They have three dorms here. So they have Piedmont Central Patton and Piedmont something else. I can't really remember right now. Everything is based on a first come first serve basis. I don't want your love. Next thing I want to 
about is the roof layouts. So here at Central, there will be two rooms in the area, so there's a shared space. Two people live in both of those rooms, so it is a total of four people per room. You do have an option of doing one in one at Piedmont Central, so two people instead of four. And then there is a uh, shared bathroom. So there's no communal bathrooms at Georgia State. They're all private bathrooms in the room. I lived at Piedmont Central my freshman year. I personally think it was the best. So I wanted laundry on every floor. I also wanted the biggest dining hall, which not ashamed to admit. Something to note about the freshman dorms, you do have to have a meal plan when you live in one of them. There are no kitchens in the freshman dorms, and you can bring your car on campus as a freshman as well. Depending on when you apply to housing, you get to pick the exact room that you live in, which is very cool. Do you get your dorms regularly checked by like people to see if there's drug use and stuff like that? Yeah, so they're called room inspections. The RA will do it twice a semester. And they'll let you know about 48 hours in advance that it's happening. We also have cleaning agreements that you have to sign, and if Let's say one of your roommates signed to mop the floors. If they didn't mop the floors and it was really bugging you and you had talked to them multiple times, you could go to your RA and say like, hey, they're not doing what they said they were going to do on the cleaning agreement. And then the RA would have a meeting with your whole room to see if you needed to renegotiate that cleaning agreement or if more actions needed to be taken. As long as you're not bringing drugs or tobacco into the dorms, you're not bringing alcohol, if you're not of legal age, you can expect that you're going to be okay. So if you just follow the rules, you're not going to get in trouble. Any questions? No, okay, we're going to go to lunch. say the when you meet your boss, you probably hope that I cut you some slack and that wouldn't be too bad if I didn't have to eat. You're going to see right here. Look at me go. Right now, it is lunch time. I haven't really had much time to like actually talk to the camera because I'm scared to vlog. I don't even want. I'm not going to look like I haven't been doing this for like four years. I wanted to go over a few things. Specifically about the fact that I really want to go get ketchup and I can't. I don't even know where the ketchup is. You know, that's kind of a problem. I want to do a film major here. We have a lot of opportunities downtown. That's basically why I wanted to come here. Also, a lot of movies are shot in downtown Atlanta. So. Baby Driver was filmed on that road back there. Ooh, so they have film students that go on set sometimes to see how it's filmed, like the whole production process. So that really helps with that really helps with you getting like experience and stuff. And they also have a lot of internship opportunities, so you can be an intern. Fingers and toes crossed because I really want to get into that. They have a lot of film festivals. They have one that's a film festival for the school that's only open to students. I met with a guy that won two years in a row. It's gonna be bad so we can get him out of the way. <laughs> but like, I'm really excited. Let me know if you have any questions about anything in the comments. I want to help you as much as I can. In case you're wondering what this is, I don't know if you noticed it, but I didn't want to mention it earlier because you all know how sometimes you be watching a video. Someone is like, disclaimer, blah, 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 and you didn't even realize it until they said it. Well, I'm saying this now because the video is almost over. I have a sty on my eye, which is bacteria. When bacteria gets in your eye, it gets in this little tear duct area. It's like a pimple in your eye. It germinates pus. Your eye. You have to wait till it like produces itself or whatever. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting talk about. I've had this like three times. The reason I get it is maybe because I don't get enough sleep. Whenever these come, it reminds me how sleep deprived I am. It sucks. Don't fall. Sleep. Yeah.